Hey guys, what's up? Thank you so much for watching it. Ow! Fuck! Ow! I really appreciate it. I just hurt my leg. <laughs> okay, so at this point, I am pretty frustrated. I'm annoyed. I'm sick of it. I have filmed like three, maybe four videos. You won't see my last Ipsy unboxing plus a haul I had with it. Two trying new makeups. And there was something else. But, okay, so I think only three videos. Haul, Ipsy's, last month Ipsy's, and trying a bunch of new makeup from Elf, Colourpop, and Ipsy. Because they all got corrupted. I'm using a different SD card this time. I really hope it doesn't fuck up. So today I'm going to be playing with some makeup, new makeup. I have my Ipsy for this month for August. This was last month's bag, Stay Golden. And I really like it. And I have, some, let me show you some of the products. So I got the Studio Makeup Mascara that I tried in a previous video and I really really like it. It did smudge a little bit by the end of my work shift. I got the Beauty For Real Golden Hour Mango Butter Eyeshadow Palette. I did a really pretty eye look with this. I love this palette. It reminds me of Wonder Beauty but better. I tried the e.l.f. new bite size eyebrow palette. It has two waxes and two powders. That is what I have in my brows today. I really like it. Ooh, I got the marshmallow sponge and concealer brush um, duo. And they sent this as a free gift. The Nabella Noir powder brush. In my Ipsy, I got this brush set from MOTD, really like it, and the other stuff went into a giveaway. From e.l.f. I got the Big Mood Mascara, which I absolutely love. I do like this way more than this. This is literally a cheaper version of the Milk Makeup Mascara, literally. It's exactly the same. From e.l.f. I also used the Pity Zion Electric Mood X Pity Zion Cream Face Quad. And it's like a balmy highlight, balmy blushes, and a balmy bronzer. I don't know if it's the same as their putty bronzer, but I fucking love this palette. I love it. I'm not going to be using it again today. I might use it in another video so you can see how it performs but just know I love it and I love this sponge so much. The ABH eye primer I tried in that video with these new shadows that I didn't really know how they work. I'm going to try this again with shadows that I know how they work. The Sailor Moon palette I finally got. I have not played with this yet and I'm not playing with it today. I'm going to save it because I have a different palette I'm going to play with. But yeah, that was everything from last time. So I don't know. We'll see if anything gets used. I mean, I am using the primer, maybe the sponge, and I do have the brows in. I'm not using the mascara because I have my Ipsy for the month of August. And I have a little Shein haul in Ulta haul. So from Ulta, I did get the hashtag relationship goals from Saved by the Bell and Wet n Wild. Little duo. It was a highlight and blush. It came shattered. And so I, they wanted me to send it back to them. And they sent a new one. Let me see. When is it supposed to be here? Oh, 
So, of course, it's out for delivery. I should have known. It's out for delivery literally on the day I decided to film. But apparently not only mine came shattered, I saw in PR unboxings that it came shattered as well. So I think it's just very, yeah, out for delivery at 6.10 this morning. Awesome. Of course it's out for delivery before I'm filming. But I gotta get this done. We leave for vacation. Not tomorrow, but the day after. So gotta get this done. I did get the mascara from Saved by the Bell. It's Bayside Cheerleading Mascara, limited edition. And you guys, I've never really liked a mascara. I have the Big Papa mascara that I do like, but it's not amazing. Does What does this remind you of? Literally the Benefit Roller Lash that I have right there that I fucking love. I might do one eye, or I know how that mascara is. I might put this on one eye, and if I can't get a feel for it, I might pit them against each other just to see. But I'll be trying that today. So from Shein, Shein, I ordered some lingerie, bathing suit, and some makeup. I got this cute little sponge container came with three sponges and it holds them is that not so cute they feel okay she and sponges aren't the softest in the world i don't know why but the yellow one feels the softest i might put the pink and green one in a giveaway and just keep the yellow one because i have so many sponges i literally still have my color pop one on open and i just got the marshmallow sponge and other sponges so oh i love them they look really good yeah that's like the brush i gave you yeah yes hi guys goodbye goodbye i got this brush set Okay, I gave my daughter the eyebrow brush out of it already, but I thought it was cute and I wanted it, so I got it. Like, look at these handles and look at these bristles. Like, are you kidding me? So, I had three like eye type brushes and four face brushes. So, these are actually very useful eye brushes. The face brushes, I don't know. Might use that for powder. Might use that for powder. <laughs> or blush. Or bronzer. This one for cream products or maybe highlights. It's a little thicker. And this one. I think this said bronzing brush on it. But I don't know. This is like a nice, light, setting brush. It's very flimsy, I like it. I might use it for blush. Or maybe to diffuse some bronzer. I don't know, I like it though. And then the last thing, oh no, one more thing from Ulta. When I got the Saved by the Bell stuff. I got the Essence, the Glowin' Golds Vitamin E Baked Luminous Bronzer. It just looked so pretty. I love glowy bronzers. This was like two bucks, three bucks. Let's see if it's just an overspray. No, it's not an overspray. It has like gold glitter in it. That's what it looks like. That looks pretty. That looks really pretty. And 
And then also from Shein, I got the Desert Palette. So you know I love my Shein palettes. Absolutely love them. I have most of the Huda Beauty dupes. I have the tie-dye palette that I'm using as a camera holder right now. I have other palettes. I love Shein palettes. They're very inexpensive. And this one, I don't know, it just spoke to me. It looks like the Blush Crush palette almost. But like, I just love Shein's shimmers. She Glam. It's Shein's own makeup line called She Glam. I have quite a bit of their makeup. And I really love it. Their shimmers are just so pretty. They're kind of like Huda Beauties in the sense that they're like toppers. And they're like fairy dust and ethereal. And I'm just obsessed. Now from Ipsy for the month of August. The theme is Wonderlust. But it's like a foresty theme. No instruction or no prices or anything at all. The first thing is the Tarte Light Camera Lashes 4 in 1 Mascara. I have had this multiple times. It is in the shade black and I do really like it. But I have quite a few mascaras right now. So this will be going to the giveaway winner who I've already contacted. The next thing I got is the Skin and Lab E. E plus moisturizing formulated with carefully selected vitamins for smoother and healthier skin so this is a K-Beauty made in Korea K-Beauty brand so I'm definitely gonna try that I got the Murad hydration sensitive skin soothing serum so I had the moisturizer version of this at one time I have the face wash version of it now and the serum version. I wish I could have all three at once. And I've had the eye cream before in that same hydration line. I chose the Complex Culture Let Up Concealer Medium to Full Coverage Brightening Antioxidant Concealer. And the only choice it gave me was shade 200. And it looked a lot, not a lot, but quite a bit quite a bit deeper golden than it actually came. Kind of like the Dose of Colors concealer. When I chose the color, I was like, oh, that's going to be a little dark, but I'll make it work. And it came and it was perfect. This one, I was hoping it came how it looked. Because I have some color to me now. But I think when I don't have color to me, this still might be a little light. It has a weird doe foot. It's literally like a, a little foot. Do, 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 do. Like it walks. <laughs> it doesn't hold a lot of product like on the tip. But it does in the little ridges. But that is the shade. I don't know. It might work. It's feels like a gel-like consistency. And then the last thing in my bag is... Ah! Hold on, I'm coming back. I promise. The Neogen Derma Dermology All Day Locking Fixer. Hashtag Ultimate fixing power to maximize the longevity of makeup setting spray so of course you know i chose it i love setting sprays this is a weightless fixer keeps your makeup looking just applied all day long without fading has a very light, fresh scent. Very tea tree, that's what I smell. It 
Yeah, it does feel more like an Urban Decay All Nighter and not a glowy one, which I'm fine with a lot of the time. Oh, I have two more things. Oh, shoot. And then the last thing I ordered during one of my manic episodes where I was trying to get points on Afterpay. I wanted to try this for a long time, the powder at least, and I was trying to hit a certain thing, certain amount, but nothing else was interesting to me. So I did get the powder in translucent, and I love the packaging. It feels very cheap, but I just love the color. I think it was like $25 or something. And then, so, to get to that threshold, I added the Explicit Mascara from Dragon Beauty in Blackout. And I don't, it's so little, it feels very cheap. I think it was like $20. And this wand looks like a Dollar Tree wand. So... Actually, I think I'm going to try this on one eye. But, yes, that is my haul. That is my story of... Why do I look like that? I'm sorry if the lighting's bad. It's weird today. All my videos got deleted. Really sucks. But I hope you enjoyed this little haul. I'm going to go on to the try on portion in a different video, so I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye!